what's up guys welcome to my channel if you are new yet my name is divine i'm a musical five minominak drummer and a keyboardist i have been for many many years i started making these videos as a space for music lovers like myself to check out our favorite artists and break down some of our findings that make them so so fantastic make sure you follow us on instagram at the perseverance reaction in order to recommend the favorite singers for us to react to What's up YouTube? Hope you guys are feeling good. good. Today guys, we're back. You're going to new video guys. Enjoy my beautiful guys. It's a makeup. My name is Divine and welcome it's to the Perseverance. Perseverance. So they're going to be reacting to Jada Peterson educates woke students and leaves Oxford Union speechless. Wow. Oh, beautiful. <laughs> I really can't wait to check this out, guys. It, as long as it has to do with Jada Peterson, I'm interested. Very, very, hundred percent interested, guys. You know how these guys talk less, right? Don't react more. Let's get into this video. So, as you were talking about hierarchy and the relationship that conservatives and liberals have towards it, I was wondering whether that formulation is also a kind of attack on individual sovereignty and a kind of tribalism of saying here are these two groups of people and here is how they relate. Well, it would be if I was trying to reduce all the individual variability to that. But to, uh, to note that people vary across a dimension is not necessarily simultaneously to limit all the variability to those dimensions. There's lots of other variability. And I, your question, to some degree, is whether the act of categorization is in itself a limitation on individual freedom, I think, if you push your question all the way down to the bottom. And the answer to that is, to some degree, yes, but it's also a precondition for individual freedom. So, is that sufficient? But, but you sort of do have certain predispositions that you're giving in the same way in which people from political correctness are trying to say, this is what it means to be a woman, these are the kind of things that it is expected from a woman to do to defend herself. And it seems to me that you are making a similar claim about, this is what conservative people do, and this is how they always relate to power. Well, I don't, I, I would say that I perhaps am doing that, but I don't see how that's the same as what the postmodernists are doing. I mean, as far as I can tell, the postmodernists aren't saying that the groups, the individuals within those groups are characterized by any stable characteristics whatsoever, except for the fact of their comparative oppression. Like, so I don't understand the first part of your argument. I mean, part of the reason the postmodern types have been going after me is because I, I've dared to say that men and women differ in temperament, which, by the way, they do. So, now, you know, that, that's, actually, that, that's actually something that might be worth uh, just big yeah. shot right di there. differentiating quickly, because it's actually technically somewhat challenging, but also very much worth knowing. I was debating... Um, someone on a panel this morning on a TV show, the right stuff. Um, and this was a woman who led the female, the, the Women's Equality Party, and she cited some psychological literature that purported to claim that men and women were mostly the same. And that's actually true. We are more the same than different. If you look at our temperaments, there's more overlap than there is variance by a substantial amount. And so even on the mm. temperamental dimensions yeah. where there is most difference between men and women, the difference isn't of massive magnitude at the center of the distribution. So, for example, women are less aggressive than men, which is, by the way, why they commit suicide, try to commit suicide more often, but are much less lethal in their actions. That's one example, but there are many examples. If you draw a random woman and a random man out of the population, the probability that the man will be more aggressive is... 60%. If you bet on the man, you'd win 60% yeah. of the time. That's not a walloping difference. It's not 95% of the time. You know, it's, it's a difference that is substantive. It's significant. It's measurable. But it's not large by the standards by which such things are judged. But that's not the point. The point is, is that most of the activity takes place at the extremes. So out on the tails of the distribution. So here's an example. <clears throat> about 9 out of 10 people in prison are male. Why? Because to be in prison, you have to be the most aggressive person, let's say, in 100. Okay. 
Those differences at the midpoint are large enough so that if you go out to the extremes, one in a hundred people, you have an overwhelming preponderance of men. And so you can have your cake and eat it too. You can say, well, yeah, broadly speaking, men and women are more the same than different. The, o the overlap is greater than the, than the, than the disjunction. But that's yeah. not relevant if what's being selected is often at the extremes, and it often is. So for example, with regards to engineering, there's a fair bit of evidence that people who are more interested in things than in people become engineers. Now, that's not really going to be, yeah. what is that, shocking? Are you shocked by that? You shouldn't be shocked by that, right? You can, you can tell that not only by what engineers do, but you can tell that by how they think, and you can tell that just by talking to them, if you know a bunch of engineers. So, and it turns out that the like, largest temperamental the difference that's known between men and women is actually interest in people versus interest in things. And so it has nothing to do with competence, but it has a lot to do with interest. And because you have to be very interest, interested yes. in things to go be an engineer, because that's all you're going to be doing if you're an engineer, then only those people who are extremely interested in things tend to become engineers. And most of them are men. And that's why even in places like Scandinavia, where a tremendous amount of effort has been put into flattening the socio-cultural landscape, and successfully, by the way, there's still a preponderance of male engineers. And there's a preponderance of female nurses. And no matter how exactly. much sociological gerrymandering goes, along, goes on, those statistics have remained quite intractable over about a 15-year period. And so there are differences. There are differences. They're not massive. And then you might ask, well, are those sociocultural or biological? It's like, well, that's a hard question to answer because it depends on how much variability there is in this sociocultural landscape because the proportion by which something is biological versus sociocultural varies with the sociocultural landscape. That's a complicated thing to, to, to digest because you think of those things as fixed, but they're not. So, but what we have demonstrated quite clearly and this is mainstream science, despite the fact that people don't like it. This test has already been done. So we, we developed a personality model that's pretty stable across cultures, purely derived from statistical, from statistical processes, an atheoretical model, if there ever was one, and quite an unattractive model because of that, conceptually. But that's beside the point. Then we saw, cross-culturally, whether there were differences in the fundamental temperaments of men and women. And the answer was yes, cross-culturally, quite robust. Yeah. Women are higher in the experience of anxiety and emotional pain, and they're more yeah. compassionate and agreeable. Those are the big differences. And they're, they're differences of a magnitude that I already pointed out. Then the next question is, well, to what degree is that biological versus sociocultural? And it's complicated because that vari variable depends on the sociocultural landscape, but we'll put that aside. You can determine that by stacking up countries from those who have done everything they possibly can to flatten out the socio-cultural landscape in relationship to gender to those who haven't, that are still very stratified by, by sex. And then what you do is you look at the magnitude of the temperament differences in keeping with the, the variability that those countries have in terms of their socio-cultural egalitarianism. And the socio-cultural types, the, the, um, the social constructionists, their prediction is, as cultures become more egalitarian, Men and women become more different, more the same, sorry, mm. more the same, because it's environmental. That isn't what happens. Exactly the opposite happens. As you flatten out the sociocultural landscape, Social men and landscape. women become yeah. more become different. different. More the difference. data is True. in. The experiment is done. Tens of thousands of people, multiple countries. And it's not what anyone expected. And you might think, well, it's all the right-wing psychologists. It's like. All the right-wing psychologists are in this room, sitting in this chair. Wow. True. Wow. This is really deep, but it's fat. Yeah. It's fat. I love the clarity, how you clarified to that lady who was asking questions. That's something I love about Peterson every time. Like, it takes the time I make research. Uh, his research always comes out with a really, really, really good feedback out of it and how he answers people question like he don't just beat around the bush he he answer you straight and to the point and it's really clear that you will understand everything he's saying right here like i 
men and women, we are actually a bit the same, yeah. but different is different yeah. um, aspects. So it's it's a first explanation the way he said it. Like I love this man, I love his explanation, and I kind of like understand it more better. Like anytime hearing his video, um, his podcast too, I get to like understand myself more better. Yeah, and know as a man who I really am. Like it's it's really really beautiful. To you watch this video, I love how this video came about. Like it got me speechless and more educative of who I am. This was so amazing, and I really do enjoy myself. What is I love the fact that Peter Singh is very, very intelligent, and he always takes his time to explain any questions being asked to him in detail. Yeah. The truth is that uh, we need to call a spade a spade because this gender equality stuff. Yeah, definitely, it, that some things that happen, and just like he said, it's not about competence. It's not about who can do it better. better. It's just about interest. That things you don't find interested in. I love making YouTube videos. You love watching it. You see our interest so it also happened to be with um Genius, individual yeah. preference so that's like when you're talking about the engineering like if you to look at let me say 10 20 people finishing high school what do you want to be at least two of them want to be a nurse as a female but if you're looking at guys like 10 20 guys you can see five that want to become a doctor three don't become an engineer before you see a guy that want to become a nurse it's like the the level is very very low so it's kind of understandable when he's saying it like everyone have different interests and there's some interests that work along with our agendas also so it doesn't have anything to do with competence doesn't have anything to do with um i don't know how to put it uh, being biased or quality or stuff <laughs> it just have everything to do with interest and yeah. our own perspective about it so there's no need putting everything on peterson he's not the one who created us anyway so he's just explaining it for us so we understand so guys comment up below what you think about this video give us a thumbs up share this with us many us can subscribe to channel guys know how to do it we'll see you guys in the next video make sure you stay safe i just want a bag like an old lady i'm back wood smoking i don't know papers pass that 808 that don't don't shake her Oh, bitch, you know I'm grinding like a pro skater Baby, mama bugging, I'm so quick to hit ignore Buku, bitch, you in my bed I got scales all over